classy can be a bad thing. But in this case, it's a great thing. This year, we are battling COVID-19. At Vista Grande Elementary, UCSD is doing a program called Sassy. This Sassy is unlike any Sassy you've ever heard before. This Sassy comes to our school twice a week on Thursday and Friday to test the kids who volunteered. Allie and I both get tested every week at school and it's really cool. Now you're probably wondering what this Sassy is. Sassy uses science to detect COVID. Sassy is a program made up of college students majoring in nursing. We interviewed one of the nurses whose name is Eloisa. She explained to us that for her job, she has to be social because she has to make sure that the patients can trust her. Her attitude will affect the patient's attitude. Our sassy crew makes sure that no one is nervous to get tested with them. All of the sassy members are super nice. They make all of us comfortable by talking to us about school and other personal matters. Here's how it works. Ms. Jomana, one of our campus aides, comes to our school to take us to the lunch tables. When we get there, they check us in and we wait. When there is an open spot, we go to that spot. They ask us our names, then put the swab in our nose. They only go about half an inch into your nose for about 10 seconds. It doesn't hurt whatsoever. You barely feel a thing, but it does kind of tickle. The founder of Sassy is Marlene Flores, a researcher at UCSD. She explained to us that for her job, she has to be conventional as well as social because she has to be organized, but also be able to talk to adults and students to see how they feel. She also told us that science is important because it helps us discover what is true about the world. We learned that sassy is important because it helps kids see science up close and participate in it as well. It also brings science to the classroom and shows who it can be done. One last thing she told us was that SASI is helping the community because it is educating people on testing and is giving more access to it. It also puts a human face on research since SASI members are there to answer all the questions. Ultimately, they want to help communities come up with good plans to protect people from COVID-19. Sassy brought a new friend to our school. His name is Harry Potter, the COVID detector. <laughs> Although this is a scientific robot, kids at our school like to call it the poop detector. <laughs> now that might sound a little weird, but it's actually not. Okay, maybe it is a little. You know what, now that I'm thinking of it, it's a lot weird, but it is keeping us safe. This new robot is keeping us safe by detecting COVID in the sewers. Every 30 minutes, the robot takes a new sample from the sewers and detects if there might be any COVID in pieces of their waste. This new robot is cool, weird, and very helpful at the same time. At our school, they also swab the floors. Miss Deanna and Miss Jerjis come to our classroom every day to swab the floors. They swab the floor in a 12 by 12 square, horizontally and vertically. After they swab the floor, they put the swab in a bag and write the room number and teacher's name on it. Finally, Sassy comes and picks up all the bags to do some experiments on it. They see if the results match up with the kids' tests and the robot. We are very thankful that Sassy has been right by our side this school year. Sassy's main goal is to help schools safely reopen so we can be more positive and learn more in person. Although this year has been rough for a lot of us, we're, we're still, still getting, getting through this together. together.